Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Thank you very, very much. So there you go. Today we're going to keep working on uh, the, the states in general. And I'm going to add a few things that we need to do. Um, a, a very important thing that we're going to need is, is uh, support for views. So a view is going to be something that's not really 100% um, required here. For example, in state data or something, window is required, but a view is not. So I'm going to actually have views individually in the states that require them. For example, editor state and game state. Um, and sending state, main menu state, they don't need views in that sense. So we're not going to use that. Uh, and then eventually we're going to have some percentage style um, resizing of all these goddamn uh, of all the windows and everything. So I'll, I'll figure that out. So since you have a if you have a smaller resolution, uh, it'll be a little easier. So there you go. Uh, but updating the mouse position. So for example, here when you're updating the mouse position view and mouse position mouse position grid, um, <clears throat> we need to update this with a view. But if we don't have a view, we still want it to update in the regular way, just like this. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a SF view here, pointer view equals null. All right. And what this does is if there is new, no view, it's a null, then we're just going to do it the regular way. If there is a view, we're going to update in another way. Uh, but to make this work, I need to just set that here. Okay, we're probably going to need to use this in other things as well, but but yeah, we'll just start off here. So if there is a view, if view, okay, uh, this window set view, um, whoops, view, okay, so we're going to set the view. Now, in order to update a mouse position properly for the view and a map pixel to cores for this to work there has to be another view set so depending on the view set it's going to map those pixels to the cores so if i set my custom view it's going to map those pixels to the cores if i don't it's going to use its own default view and uh, and in some cases we might want that in some cases we don't so i'm going to do this now we will really have to be careful in order to send in a view here for for this to work now I could remove the null actually you know what I could remove the null to force it to force a view but what that does is if we don't have we can still send in the windows own view but that forces a view so we know which one is being being used you know what we could use that we could use that we'll set the view um, okay and then once that's done, we'll do this window dot set set view. This window dot get default view. All right, so we just reset it. So that will be that will be good. Now we'll get the correct stuff depending on the view we send in. Um, now we're probably gonna have to work with all of these game state, editor state, all of these states and just send in the correct for example here so i'm just going to send in this uh, window get default view um, oh maybe you can't do that can you it gets a const view back it gets a const view back. That's not really good. Hmm. God damn it. Then we have to do it the other way with the null. All right. Just change it back. There you go. View. Set view. Uh, it's no, no big deal. If this no if view then we're gonna set the view otherwise we will set the default view that's all you have to do so just make sure you have it like this 
and then do this. Now, I remember a few you got problems. Uh, I got some messages for, for the loading and the saving. You got some weird uh, values saved. Like, uh, but that usually happens when you don't initiate initialize your variables. So it's it's putting in stuff that uh, is just craft values. So just check that you initialize all your values and, and make sure they're all correctly. We'll we'll look at it a little more a little later. Let me just think here. Yeah, but that should work. That should work. Never mind. That should work. Uh, so this this is going to just update it regularly. I'm going to close everything else. And I'm going to open up tile map for that thing I just talked about. And we're going to look at it in a little bit here. What I meant was these things here. Now, some of you got weird values. So just make sure it looks exactly like this. And that you're actually... Um, no, wait, where is it? Save to, save. save to file here. Just make sure it looks just like this, all of this. And here, just make sure you initialize these. All right, because if you forget to do that, sometimes you'll get crap values when you're trying to assign things to them. Okay, so just make sure those are initialized um, before you do all this, and that should help you out before all this as well. Otherwise, you might get some weird, weird values. Um, and get a string here as well. Just make sure you. Um, let's look at it quickly though. So there's nothing. Uh, get a string. Here, just make sure it looks exactly like this, okay? All of this stuff. And I know if you are having problems, just make sure you go into the GitHub page and just look at the code there. Make sure it's exactly like that code, okay? Then you might not get problems. So, um, yeah, that's a good thing to do. Uh, so there we go. Okay, let's keep working on the, on the beautiful view here. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a little view right here. Um, SF view main view and once the main view is done I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna say I'm gonna actually create a function for it init void init view that should be pretty much at the top pretty much at the top define that Okay, and here we go. So this view, this main view, or should we just call it view, view, I'll just call it view. Makes my life a little easier. So there you go. All right, editor state. Okay, equals no dot create or set center let's start off with set center what else is there set size there should be a set size uh, oh god fuck this sorry about my language this view dot set size there we go okay there you go sf vector 2f um all right now we need the size state data this state data um, GFX settings resolution dot width and then height so uh, yeah Pretty much, pretty much. Or do we set it to the windows? Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into that later. We'll we'll just leave that there for now. It should be fine. Set center. Let's see. So it's gotta be at the center. Two. This is a float. It's unsigned int. So if I divide it with a float, it should become a float. And then I'll divide the height with 2.f as well. Okay, looks good. 
Um, like this. Okay, so there you go. So we set the size in the center. Should be fine now. Now I need to call this from editor state right here. So this init view, right? So once that's called, we should have a view that we can render stuff from. Now I need to go into the render right here. So now I get to choose what I render where. And I'm going to try to not call uh, set view so many times. Um, so I'm going to see how I'm going to do this. Render GUI and buttons. Most probably going to be on and pause menu and everything as well. This window set view this window get default view okay so that's gonna be our default view and here this window or let's see this target can you set that to target target set view okay all right all right all right all right set view this view and then we'll render that and then this no target set view that default view and then we'll render everything else so okay all right that's good that's good let's just run this see if that works Let's see. All right, I gotta end the video soon. Um, and this view is gonna just be our camera, so we can move around in the world while we're building. <laughs> Editor. Okay, still working. Everything. Oh yeah, I got some new tiles as well. I just made some random shitty tiles. I'm not that good at tile making, but you know, I just made something. Uh, we could load as well. And there you go. Now. Before I end the video, what I want to do is I want to go up to edit, no, update uh, is button pressed, update editor input, okay, so that's good, and then actually at the top here, move view, alright, and we're just going to try it out, if sf is key pressed, sf keyboard uh, D all right this is just hard-coded we're not going to use this later uh, then we're going to say this view the move maybe 100 point F okay 10 something like that and we'll see if this actually moves the view to the right this should only happen in the editor view okay that did move the screen didn't it did you see that um to see it better i'm just going to load the map first though editor load oof oof that's working okay that's working and we're gonna set in all of those keys in the next video right thank you guys and girls for watching thanks for sticking with me there you go i hope you learned something um just take care and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye